Good afternoon, everyone. Reported cases of COVID in Ontario continue to decline again over the last two weeks. Cases in Grey Bruce also declined, but at a slower rate than the province in general. Currently, infection rates in Grey Bruce are very similar to the rest of the province. The number of people in Ontario hospitalized in ICU and on ventilators all continue to decline. Deaths also continue to decline with the average deaths per day declining from 48 per day two weeks ago to the current level of 20 per day. Currently, there are nine people from Grey Bruce hospitalized with COVID, which is similar to the provincial hospitalization rate. Sadly, two people from Grey Bruce are reported to have died from COVID over the last two weeks. With key public health and health system indicators continuing to improve, the Ontario government, in consultation with the Chief Medical Officer of Health, started easing public health measures sooner than planned. Last week, on February 17th, Ontario increased social gathering limits to 50 people indoors and 100 people outdoors, and increased organized public event limits to 50 people indoors with no limits outdoors. Capacity limits were also removed in the following indoor public settings where proof of vaccination is required. These include restaurants, bars, sports, and recreational fitness facilities, including gyms, cinemas, meeting and event spaces, as well as casinos, bingo halls, and other gaming establishments, as well as other indoor areas of settings that choose to opt in for proof of vaccination requirements. Seating capacity at sports arenas, concert venues, and theaters was increased to 50% of the usual seating capacity, while indoor capacity limits were increased to 25% in the remaining higher risk settings, such as nightclubs and restaurants where there is dancing. Capacity limits for indoor weddings, funerals, religious services, or ceremonies were increased to the number of people who can maintain a two meter physical distance. Capacity limits are removed if the location opts in for proof of vaccination, or if the service rite or ceremony is occurring outdoors. Capacity limits in other indoor public settings, such as grocery stores, pharmacies, retail and shopping malls will be maintained at or increased to the number of people who can maintain two meters physical distance. In addition, on Friday, February 18, 2022, Ontario is expanding booster dose eligibility to youth aged 12 to 17. Appointments can be booked through the Provincial Booking System and the Provincial Vaccine Contact Centre, as well as at select pharmacies administering the Pfizer vaccine. Appointments will be booked for approximately six months or 160 days after a second dose. To book an appointment online, individuals must be 12 years old at the time of the appointment. Effective March 1st, 2022, the Ontario intends to take additional steps to ease public health measures if public health and health system indicators continue to improve. This includes lifting capacity limits at all remaining indoor public settings. Ontario will also lift proof of vaccination requirements for all settings at this time. Businesses and other settings may choose to continue to require proof of vaccination. Masking requirements will remain in place at this time with a specific timeline to lift this measure to be communicated at a later date. To manage COVID-19 over the long term, public health units can deploy local and regional responses based on local context and conditions. Even as we proceed with the reopening, there is still a long road ahead to full recovery from the effects of the pandemic. Reopening is merely the first step on the road to recovery. At a special meeting of council held on Wednesday, council members heard from members of our business community on the challenges they face to recover from the effects of the pandemic. Many have taken on significant debt and now have to also deal with labor market challenges and supply chain issues as they struggle to pay off this debt. Let's all continue to support our local businesses so we can continue 
to enjoy the products and services that they have to offer for a long time into the future. Next week, we have another special meeting of council scheduled for Thursday, March the 3rd, 2022 at 9 a.m. During this special meeting of council, candidates who applied to fill the vacant council seat resulting from the untimely passing of Deputy Mayor Potter and the subsequent appointment of Councillor Borgignon as the Deputy Mayor will be invited to make a presentation to outline their experience and qualifications. Following the presentations, Council will make a decision to select the successful applicant with the official appointment made at a subsequent meeting. The meeting agenda and presentation material can be found on the town website. The meeting will be live streamed and a recording will be archived on the town website. Have a great weekend and stay safe.